everybody. It looks like we're going to be staying at home for a little bit longer than expected. So we're going to have to try this, uh, you know, classroom online thing. So I'm very new to it. So I am doing good. Andrew is my film man, my director, my uh, everything here. So if something goes wrong, it's his fault. I'm kidding. <laughs> but <laughs> I wish I could see you all. And what I'm hoping is that uh, I can teach the lesson and you guys can watch it as many times as you need to. And then hopefully you guys can get the Zoom app and then we'll get together and you can ask me questions and maybe we'll do a few problems together. That way I know that you're getting the stuff down and you now we can do Zoom instead of homework. So yes. I think that would be a lot better, don't you guys? So today we are going to start what we would have done um, our first week off here, uh, we're going to start statistics. And what statistics is in mathematics, it's a question that has more than one answer. So lots of answers, like um, asking in class, how tall are you? You're not all the same height. Or what's your favorite ice cream? Or um, how, uh, what's the weather like in Ohio? That's never the same. So we're going to be doing that, and we're going to be uh, looking at some data. We're going to get a data set from all the different answers and find things about the data set. So today we're going to be learning about mean, median, mode, and range. So mean is not me yelling at you or, you know, being a bully. Mean is another word for average, and I have my whiteboard here. I'm going to put some notes on, so um, normally when I do these videos, I guess I should have said this first, it would be good if you would hit pause right now and get some a paper, get a pencil, and you can also use a calculator for this stuff. So if you want to go pause me and then run back, that would be great. <laughs> okay, so the mean. The mean is your average. So this is what we actually give you for a grade. It's the exact middle of what you get. It's all your test scores. We add them together and see what is the actual middle of everything. And that's what we put on a report card. So to find the mean, there are two steps. Step number one is add all the numbers in your data set. Add all the numbers in the data set. And then step two is we're going to divide by the number of numbers in your data set. Divide by the number of numbers in the set. So let's do this. Let's come up with a fake student. Maybe we'll go with one of the students I have with me here today. Hey, Yosh. We're going to call Yoshi. Yoshi's a smart, what is he, a dinosaur? Um, he, we're going to call him Mr. Yoshi studies a lot. Mr. Yoshi has done very good in math. I thought, but Okay, so we're going to give Yoshi a set of five test scores. So since he studies a lot, we're going to give him a 94 a 97, a 100, you go Mr. Yoshi, another 94, and 96. Wow, that Yoshi's one smart dinosaur. So, when we find his average, when we find his mean, we're going to take the two steps. First thing we got to do, add all those numbers together. So, we have our friend here, our calculator. Huh, which mine isn't working. No sun. Oh, there we go. All right, I guess I got to do it the old-fashioned way. 94, 97, 100, 94, 96. I'm going to add them up. 10 plus 11 is 21. Carry the 2. 1, 2, 3, 4 nines is 36 plus 2. Eight, carry three, 481. 
Yoshi is not getting a 481% in math class this, this nine weeks. Sorry, Yoshi. But that's just step number one. Step number two is we divide by the number of numbers. How many tests did Yoshi take? One, two, three, four, five. So 481 divided by five. Five doesn't go into four, it goes into nine times. Subtract, we get a three, bring down the one, we get a six, which is 30. And we always go one place past to see if we need to wrap, so we can round 96.2. Yoshi ends up with a 96 per set. Good job, Yoshi. Now, normally, the, our, the next thing we're going to study is called median. Now, normally, if you're at school, I would say all of you get out of your seats, go to the side of the room, <laughs> and without talking, find out who is middle when it comes to your heights. So, class, get out of your seats. Who, which one of you is the middle when it comes to your heights? Is it you, Mr. Link? Tweety thinks it's him. No, not Tweety. Woodstock, Woodstock, Woodstock. Andrew's very embarrassed right now. All right, so what would we have to do first to figure out who goes in the middle? Well, we would need to get in line from the shortest to the tallest. I don't know. Oh, you guys are close. Link, looking pretty short there. Yeah, Link, you're short. The short one. Oh, Ben and Yoshi are close. What do you think, Mario? Then Sonic. Tweety's got him by some hair, I think. Yeah, you agree. All right, so who's in the middle? Get rid of you two. Get rid of you two. Mario, you are our median when it comes to height. So when we do median, median means middle. It's the number in the middle. So two steps again. First step, super easy. Put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So line up the numbers. And step two, find the one in the middle. So let's go back and use Yoshi's fabulous test course here. So he got a 94, a 97, a 100, a 94, and a 96. So when we line them up, we have one 94, a second 94, a 90. Six, a ninety-seven, and a one hundred. So this time we're lucky because it works out perfect. Got to cross them out. Ninety-six is in the middle. But wait a minute. Uh oh, I forgot about a test. There was one other test that Yoshi took. We're gonna make it ninety. Uh, now, erase this so we have some space. So if we had gave him a 90, a 94, a 94, a 96, a 97, and a 100. Okay, guys, now there are two numbers in the middle. Well, you're not allowed to have two numbers in the middle. So when there are two in the middle, you add them together and divide by two. Or if you can just look and see, oh, well, what's in between 94 and 96? 95. So the median for this one would equal 95. 
Sometimes you're going to get, get a decimal. No rounding on the median, only the mean. So, and plus I can prove that again. 94 plus 96 is 190. 190 divided by 2. Oh, look at that. 95. I love it when that works. All right, so mean and median. We got another M word for today. And it's the easiest one, and it's going to be the one you like the best. It's called the mode. M-O-D-E. And M-O, mode. What the mode is, it's the number in your data set that appears most often. Oh, look at that. Number appears most often. So for this, there are no steps. All you got to do is use your eyeballs. Look at the numbers. Do you see one that's there more than the others? Well, in Yoshi's data, was there a number there that was more than the other numbers? Yeah, the number 94. So that would be our mode. Now, if all the numbers are there only once, then we can say there is no mode. There doesn't have to be one. There isn't one. All the numbers are different. Can there be more than one mode? Yeah. Let's say I give the next test and, and Yoshi rocks another 100%. If, Rosh, if Yoshi does that, then we have two. It would be 94 and 100. So there can be one. There could be two. There could even be three. There doesn't have to be one at all. It's what's ever there the most. Let's say there's one score listed three times and one only listed twice. You go with the one that listed three because that's the most. I told you that was going to be the favorite. Easy, right? I got another easy one for you. It's called the range. We've done range kind of with other things. The range, all you do is you take the high number, for, highest number in the data set, and you subtract the lowest number in the data set. That's it. Doesn't get much easier than that, does it? So, especially with Yoshi, his highest was a 100. His lowest was a 90. Wow. Yoshi's doing pretty good. His test scores are all within a range of 10. That's what I like to see. I don't really want you to have a range of 50 points when we're doing tests. No. So that's your range. There's one more vocabulary word for today. Then we're just going to do another example and we're done. The word is outlier. Out. Liar. And I'm going to go back to Sesame Street, even though Sesame Street is nothing like what it was when I was a kid. But when I was a kid, there used to be a song, and it was called, One of these things is not like the other. Something doesn't belong. Andrew shaking his head, no, Mom, please stop. No more singing. Tweety, no, Woodstock agrees. Um, but it's a number that when you look at it, that you're like, what? Where did that come from? Let's say Yoshi suddenly got a 50%. What is that? A 50? That doesn't belong. It's the outlier. And uh, the outlier skews the data. S-K-E-W-S. -E it skews it. It makes it look like Yoshi probably got a lot more bad grades than he really did. He just had one big mistake. So that's called an outlier. So right now Yoshi doesn't have one, but we're going to look at one more data set and we're going to put in an outlier and let's see what that does. Okay, so let me erase here. I want to erase the rules, just some of the work. Okay. So. Sonic has been slacking off a little bit. 
he's been uh, too busy at track practice to be studying for his math test. Sonic, look down in shame. Okay, so let's do a data set with some Sonic test scores. Let's say that he got um, an 80, a Seventy-two and eighty-three. Well, let's give him a B. Let's be nice. Let's give him a. What do you think? 80. Eighty-eight. And then he got a forty. Sonic, come on. No. So, um, you know what? Let's give one more test score. Let's let Sonic redeem himself and pull it back up to a. 90. Ooh, Sonic. Okay, so first we're going to find the mean. So the mean, again, that's your average. And our first step is we take all these numbers and add them together. Correct. 80, 72, 8, 40, and 90. Since my calculator's not working, 13, carry a 1. Okay, I got 3 eighths, which is 24, 28, 29, 29 and 16, it's 45. So 453. Again, Sonic is not getting a 453%. We need to, step two, divide by the numbers in our data set. How many numbers, how many tests did Sonic take? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we take our 453 and divide it by six. Six doesn't go into four, but it goes into 45 seven times which is 3, we bring down our 3, 6 goes into 33 five times, 3. see if we need to round, I got 75.5, so even with a 40%, Sonic is going to end up with a 76%, not bad Sonic, not bad at all. All right, what was his median score? His median score. Now remember, to do the median, the first thing we need to do is, Andrew, you're really close. <laughs> no, no, the phone. Okay. Not me. I'm just saying they don't need to see my face that close up. Okay, so the median. First thing is we got to take Sonic's scores and line them up from least to greatest. So obviously his lowest score was the 40, 72, 80, 83, 88, and 90. Okay, now that we have them in line, we find the one in the middle. Except for with six numbers, there's not going to be one in the middle. There's going to be two. So we cross out the ones that are on each side. Since there are two in the middle, remember, we need to add them together and divide by two. So 80 plus 83 equals 163. Divide that by two. That's going to give us an 81.5. Leave the 0.5. Don't round on the median. Look, see, mean is a small word. We can go around the mean. We round it. Median. Nope, we make a rectangle. No rounding allowed. Okay, so we did the two hard ones. We got our mean is a 76. His median is an 81.5. What's his mode? Which number appeared the most often? None of them. He got all different scores on 
all of the test. So when they would ask, what's the mode? You just say, no mode, or there's none. Either way, as long as I know, don't put zero, though. Because if you put zero, you made it sound like Sonic got zero on more tests than anything else. So we would just put mode for Sonic. No mode. Okay. And the range. Range is another easy one. Remember, all we do is take his highest score and subtract from it his lowest score. So for the range, for Sonic, his highest was a 90. His lowest was a 40. We subtract. His range was 50%. <laughs> You'll do better next time, right? <laughs> okay, and if I would ask you the question, is there an outlier in this data set? Your answer would definitely be yes. That 40% just doesn't belong. I know, I, I won't sing anymore, I promise. So, there we go. There's today's lesson. Mean, add them together. Divide by the number of numbers to get your average, the actual middle. Median is the middle, but just from lining them up from smallest to largest. If there's one in the middle, it's the winner. If there's two, add them together and divide by two. Mode, what appears most often, the number that appears most often. The range, highest number minus the lowest number. And the outlier, that's just the one, the crazy number that doesn't look like it belongs. So I hope you learned a lot today. And uh, you can email me with any questions or hopefully talk to me on Zoom. And I miss you guys. And hopefully we can talk soon. Okay. Talk later. Bye.